so now we have created the routes and all those things and we have created a router and we have did all the all the necessary setup and configuration whatever is necessary for the routing we have did it now it's time for us to load the load these pages how can we load these pages is for example let's say that let's go to the app.view this is the root component okay so we cannot add in a such a way that due so this is our due and here we will be having home and again we can have another one is about and again we are having is contact okay so we are having three components something like home about and contact so we cannot add it here like this and we cannot use the combination something like vif and if so when the page is home page so load this one when the page is about us page load this one like this we cannot add, add it why because tomorrow if you are having so many uh, routing urls so if you are having so many routing pages means we cannot go and add each and every one like this so go home about contact another one is the feedback or otherwise another one is then uh, features like this we cannot go and ask we cannot go and add each and everything so instead of this one so we have an another concept so that is nothing but router view okay so this one is called as a router view so now here this router view is a special element available in the view router and whatever the pages so it will try to read the url it will try to read the url from the this one let's try to close this one on yeah so now here let's try to 127.0 point yeah <clears throat> so we are able to see home page right here so now whatever the what i am trying to say so whatever the page whatever, whatever the urls we are trying to load it here slow so slash contact if i try to do slash contact here so we will be able to see the slash contact here right so whatever the pages we are trying to see so when you use this router hyphen view and this slash contact it will try to read the url and the router view will load the appropriate component whichever the component we have added it to it for this specific page okay so now what we are what we are doing is so here we have we have created this one all right now if you try to see this one slash contact if i try to type slash about we are able to see the about page now the appropriate component we are able to load it so here if i try to open home page i am able to see the home page so this is how this router view will be taking care now what we'll try to do is we'll try to add a navigation okay navigation means we can create a so that one doesn't come into the pages right so that doesn't have any routing any part in the routing so we can create in the component section so here i am creating a navigation navigation dot view so here i can go into this one let's go to the bootstrap let's open this bootstrap open this bootstrap and we'll search for some docs in the docs itself we'll search some navigation navbar right navbar let's take some navbar let's go down let's go down let's go down yeah we'll take this one copy and in this one i have a template so let's paste this one on so i am pasting this one all now and here i can have the script export default try to add it upwards so we are having this navbar we need to add this navbar here so here in this template let's remove this one on so here i can add this one navigation the component just like how we have added so i am adding navigation and here we will be having the script and in the script export default so here i can add something like export default <coughs> components so here we'll be adding navigation so import import navigation from components slash navigation so we will be importing the navigation we have imported the navigation so let's keep this one as a container class is equal to 
container and here i will be having oh sorry the class is equal to row in this one i will add call hyphen md hyphen 12 and let's take this one on i'm pasting it here oh uh, yeah yeah i'm pasting it here let's go see the output if i try to see the output so we are able to see a navbar here at the top so navbar and here we are seeing some links which we will try to remove it so navbar we are able to see it let's try to modify this navbar here we will be adding view routing and here home about contact so we have only two right so we have only three right home about contact so i am adding here home about contact let's see the output so home about contact we are having three things so when i click on this one so nothing is happening right let's go into this one home about contact so here href is hash and here we can have hash about and this one is something like slash contact so these are the pages uh, links we have given it so now let's go it into this one so if i try to click on this about we are able to see the about page when i click on this one i'm able to see the contact page if i go to again home home page about page and contact page i'm able to see it so now we are able to successfully did the routing concept so whenever i am trying to refresh this page again it will be in the contact page only so fine but there is one problem here so what is that problem if you try to observe it so when i am trying to click on this page the page is entirely refreshing so this page is entirely going away and again it's coming so this should not happen so in the single page application this should not happen this is exactly working as a multi-page application so all the data is going back to the server and coming back again so this should not happen it so now we are de designing the single page website so it should be single uh, so it should not refresh the page only the content here whatever the content is changing those content only we should change it it should change so for doing this one so we will be using a special option i will try to show you uh the, for doing that one we'll do we'll do a special thing so this is how we will be loading the routing thing so this is how we'll be loading this one in the app dot view router view okay in angular we'll be having a router outlet but here we'll be having a router view so in the react it will be a different thing So navigation we have loaded at the top navigation and this is our main thing container uh, row column at one router view and navigation we have created a new component so like this we need to structure the project so here these are all the pages and here these are all the components so we will be having all the reusable components here we will be having these are all <coughs> technically these are components only but these are all pages actually so these are not reusable things so we cannot reuse these all things so these are called as in pages and these components which we can reuse it reuse it wherever we want it so this is this is how we will be loading the view router